Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, I got a different kind of video for you guys. Usually, we'd be down here in the fish room doing something with one of my tanks, but today we are going to be going out and rescuing some fish in the wild. So basically, yesterday I was with my friend Miles at this local park, and we hadn't been there in a while, and it also hasn't rained here in St. Louis in a while. So we went over to this little pond that we always liked looking at, and we realized it was super low. And I'd never seen fish in there. I didn't even think that there could be fish in there. We did see a snapping turtle in there one time, which was cool, but I just never really thought there could be fish in there. But we saw it was low, so we went to go take a closer look and we did see a bunch of little tiny fish and I'm not sure what all kinds of fish are in there and how many there are but I did see at least like 20 tiny little catfish and in that pond now there's only like a couple inches of water if that so if we don't do something about this these fish are essentially doomed it's either gonna freeze over when it gets too cold or the rest of that water is just gonna dry up and they're gonna suffocate so Miles and I knew we needed to do something about it so we agreed to meet up there today and just try and net out and rescue as many fish as we can so that is what we're gonna be doing today I'm gonna go ahead and pack up all the stuff I need like buckets nets I'll probably get some boots that I can go in the water in. So I'm gonna get that all loaded up and I'll see you at the park. All right guys, so we are here at the park and as you can see next to me, this is the dried up pond I was talking about. This thing usually fills up this whole area. It's usually at least a couple feet deep, but as you can see, there's just about nothing left. So we definitely wanna get these fish out of here. So I'm all booted up in my waders ready to go we're just gonna start stirring some stuff up see if we have any action see here's the dead one i saw this yesterday how those things get in here i guess this area floods looks like a little channel cat right there we'll toss them on back <laughs> i feel like this is gonna be harder than i anticipated oh <laughs> dude that's a bunch of catfish oh my god i guess we should do the random scoop technique oh my goodness Dude, there's gotta be so many in here. I just got like seven on that one random scoop. Man, there's no way we're gonna get like anywhere near all these guys, but oh, that's a big one. That's a big one right there. And a little minnow or a guppy or something. Dude, that's crazy. That's a big one. That looks like a yellow bullhead or something. So we're just gonna do that as many times as possible before we run out of daylight. That's crazy. Oh my God. Oh, that's a big, what it's called tadpole and these are just tiny little catfish dude that's crazy there's gotta be so many in here. and i've seen a big ripple in here too guys like i feel like there's a decent sized catfish or something in here so hopefully we can get him out but i guess we're just gonna keep randomly scooping boom another big one going on into the bucket that's a lot of lives saved right there guys boom bunch right there jeez dude oh uh oh Oh, see, I, oh, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got something. I see his tail. I don't want him to, like, spy me. I don't know if they have spines yet. Oh, big ripple. Big ripple. Oh. Man down. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I saw a ton of them. Isn't that crazy, bro? That's a huge ripple. Dude, did you see that? Oh, that's, that's a huge one. Wow. What the heck? Oh, it's a giant, uh, why do I keep forgetting the name? Tadpole. It's like a bullfrog tadpole. What does it look like? Oh, wow. Yeah. I think these are bullhead, most of them. And there's all these tiny little catfish. Oh, there's a ton right here. I see all their tails. We're about to get a big scoop, guys. Oh, my. That is crazy. Dude. There's so many in there already. Yeah, guys, again, this is only a couple inches of water. In a few oh, my gosh, dude, look at them. They're like, Carson, save me. No, in a few days or like a week or so, this could all be dried up. All these fish will be done. Or... On the other side of things, it could freeze over because it's already winter here in St. Louis. These guys could freeze. Got two more pretty big ones there. Wow. Those are nice little sizes. Yeah, all the babies, it's just crazy, every scoop. Oh, there's so many right here. Wow. Crazy. I should have brought another bucket. This one's gotta be getting so full. No way. Yep, these guys have spines. I don't think they, oh yeah, they do. <laughs> I wanna try scooping over here. I haven't really done much over here. Let's see if they're over here. See, not really. Just a couple of the babies. I think it's safe to say there's no way we're getting all these fish in this video. Drop a like and we'll come back and do this again. There's still gonna be so many even after we get as many as we can. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> are you kidding me? That is so many catfish. And again, I think these are yellow bullhead. Either that or channel cats. They look really similar when they're this small, but. That is just crazy. There's way more than I thought there was gonna be. Would you say there's thousands in here? Oh yeah, easily. Dude, I see all their tails right here. No 
whole way. I wonder why they're staying over here rather than. That looks super shallow there. This is probably the deepest part if I had to guess. So we've got like 15 or 20 more minutes of daylight. So I'm gonna do a few more scoops and we do have to run over to the river that way. We're gonna have to drive over there and put all these guys in. Yeah, we gotta go quick because there's so many in this bucket already. We've got hundreds, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a few more scoops and then we're gonna get going over to the river. <laughs> First one with none. And just like that, guys. We, we got every single fish. <laughs> Big ripple right here. Yeah, that's, that's like a guppy or something or some kind of minnow. Yeah, it looks just like my common guppies I have. That's crazy. So we'll do three more big scoops and then we'll get going, guys. So there's one. Got a couple good ones. Man. Bunch of babies there. Oh, there's some big ripplage going on here. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, so we are heading down to the river access, as you can see, under this bridge here. We're just going to find a good spot, set these guys free to where they came from. All right, so we are down here at the river, right under the bridge, and we've got all our fish right here. Literally hundreds just in this bucket, thousands in that pond back there. I'm just going to take a couple scoops with my hand just so you guys can see what we're dealing with here. I mean, just look at that. So we're going to go ahead, release these guys on into the river. Look at that. Oh, they look awesome. I gotta get me some catfish for my tanks back home. Got some more. Put them on in there. All right, so we're just gonna go for the big dump, put all the rest of them in there. There's that huge tadpole. He's already growing legs. Look at Holy that. Holy moly. Wow, look at all of them. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad we were able to get them out of there. Crazy. All right, guys, so that pretty much is going to wrap up this video. Uh, big thank you to Miles behind the camera for helping me out, as well as Jake and Mason, who were here earlier. Yep, there he is. Once again, I'm very glad we were able to get those catfish out of that dried up pond release them back into their natural home. And like I said, there's still a lot more left in that little pond. So if you guys think I should come back here and get more, leave a like, let me know down in the comments as well. I would definitely be down to do that. This was a lot of fun, as well as helping the environment. That's what we do. Today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comments to be the comments of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. So if you guys did like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.